You were born born in the nation. Second generation, yeah. My father my father got it. And then He's also was, officer. No, no, no. Oh, my, my school teacher. School teacher. Okay. School teacher. So um retired school teacher. Right. So and then wears many hats. But um with that it was is uh how most get it, I tell people all the time, I was not even in the house, I was not attracted to the whole black man's God thing. Mm. Not attracted to that. I was not attracted to the screen man. I was not attracted. What I was attracted to, I'm a, I'm a man of action. The movement that I saw, mm. the, the the community work that I saw, the snatching up kids that you don't even know off the street just because they needed something. That that rare humanity stuff. That's what attracted me to the teachings. Out of all my siblings, I'm, I'm pretty much the only one. That's mm. five percent. And mm. so all that stuff took into part to me accepting that role and accepting those duties that come with it because you'll learn and one of our degrees you'll learn that once you once you have it your responsibility is to teach those who don't mm-hmm. you know what I mean and that's a heavy burden that's why the, the B in my name is I'm blessed because I was second born here but the burden is to teach and when you got that burden to teach you you got to be sharp and I still go to school I still take classes I still go up on the wise of minds and deal with judges and attorneys just to get better at my craft so I'm still learning, still, to, to, to those who, who, when I came on, I'm still, I just got some, 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 some seniority. Mm. So with 15 years, you just got a taste of what really, because now you, what you've done worked. So now, on your way out, did, did I become uh, jaded like most cops did, or cynical like most cops? Most cops. Mm. It happens, because you see so much. Mm. You see so much on a daily grind. You see people at their worst. They, they, the, 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 what is it, the saying is, we have the, the, the best show in the house, because we're there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Now one call, we arrive, we show up. We, this is the best show in the house. So, you know, it's it's dangerous, it's stressful. It's, mm-hmm. uh, you're five times more likely to kill yourself than an adversary in the street because of the stresses that you bear, that you bring home. So with all that stuff- So you're saying police officers are more likely to kill themselves? Yeah, mm-hmm. Policemen, soldiers- um, Sist- Statistically, that, that's- is that And it's true? rising, it's rising. Yeah? It's rising, mm-hmm. Holy because you're dealing with someone, how do you decompress? What do you do? You know what I mean? The worst thing you could do is pick up a bottle. The worst thing you could do is not talk about it. The worst thing you could do is hold it in. And that's what, in our culture, it's, and the policeman's culture is, you, you handle it, you man up. And after a while, those years take a toll. Mm. 20, 20 years of seeing and helping people go through the stress, good days and bad, it takes a toll. And you don't let it out. Mm-hmm. It, it will take a toll on your body, physically. You know what I mean? I, I just been better shape than this, you know what I mean? But, you know, mm-hmm. I got a wife, I eat good now. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's, you, you have to be physically fit, you have to be physically fit for the fight. You have to be mentally sharp. Your heart got to be in the right place. It's, it's, a, um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a call, when you accept that call, you take that oath. You better be ready for it because you're, you're, you're in the position of dealing with the people, mm-hmm. the hardest people. You know what I mean? And then all, it's all human, um, Parts of the family. So now, in that role, I don't have the, 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 and I never was that type of person, but someone needs help, I'm gonna come. That's just, that's just how it works. And that's kind of like how you look at the school in itself. There were children that needed help. How does our law turn his back? He gives them knowledge of himself. He gave him what he had. You know what I mean? He didn't give you no money, he gave you knowledge of yourself. And then, this is second generation. So with that, when it was in the 80s where it was crack tearing up the neighborhood, and, Father's not really around. I lucked out. I got blessed with having a father. You know what I mean? Who accepted these teachings and was able to cultivate his family and bring us through. Mm-hmm. So you know, here is where I'll do some of the classes. And for those who don't know me, I'm, I'm very simple and plain. I'm kind of corny to most of the guards. You know what I mean? Give you a hard time, but it's just wrong to be a law. It's just simple. If Mega did this.